I am Patrick Plaza. I am Mike LaPointe. I'm Abby Brockway. Liz Ferry. Jackie Minshew. And we are the, the Delta, Delta Five! Five! My name is Mike LaPointe. I'm one of the owners of the Firewheel Community Coffee House. And I'm also a member of the Delta Five group, which is uh, going to trial on January 11th to answer the charges that we uh, put a tripod in front of a oil train and blocked it from moving for eight hours. My name's Abby Brockway, and I'm a mother and a wife. My husband and I own a small business, and I'm a Presbyterian. My name is Jackie Minchu. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm a retired music teacher. The fact that we have mile-long oil trains coming through our town really is stressful in that we know they blow up. I'm doing things I never thought I would do and I'm frankly pretty glad about it. My name is Patrick Mazza. I've been a professional climate activist since 1998. I really felt I needed to move beyond just sitting in front of a computer to sitting in front of a train. I'm Liz Sperry. I'm an assistant middle school teacher in Seattle. I chose to do that because I really can't uh, handle the image of this beautiful place being a massive uh, carbon corridor. The thought of us taking, taking this place and using it as a, a vehicle to export um, carbon, which will impact so many people worldwide. Um, with so many painful, devastating consequences uh, uh, bothers me a great deal. And uh, as citizens, those of us that don't want this to happen, we really have to speak up and be creative and be public and be visible and do new things to make our voices heard because no one else will do it. We have to act now. There's not time to wait for politicians to protect us. I met a lot of politicians along the way, and each individual said, I hear what you're saying, but there's nothing that I can do. I feel powerless as your representative. It's always some other agency that has the power, and I can't accept that. That led me to go in front of a train and stop it. And that was the first time I actually felt like I was being heard, that we were telling people what we were concerned about and people were actually listening to us. We are at a point in our history where if we don't take a stand for ourselves, for working people, for the people of the planet, we're not going to have a planet. We don't have a lot of time here to waste. Our backs really are up against a wall and our options are now to not participate in business as usual but to actually take the next step. this for my daughter. And, uh, my daughter asks, well, you know, Dad, is there hope for the world? And, you know, you got to have a positive answer for that. And my positive answer is that I'm going to act directly for our children's world. Our trial starts January 11th. I urge everybody who can to come down and check it out. Show your support, not just for us, the Delta Five, but for standing up against climate change and the giant fossil fuel industries that have brought it to us and continue to try to get that last drop of oil, that last chunk of coal out of our planet. We, we are, are the Delta, Delta Five. Five. We'll be here all week.